Hey guys, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Monday the 9th of January. Thanks for stopping by. This is your play of the day. Hey, before we get to it though, if you guys would be so kind, take just a minute and smash that like button, pound that thumbs up. We appreciate it. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, maybe just stopping by for the first time, you see what you like, you dig what you're hearing, please uh, take a minute and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. And uh, of course, we want to know what you're playing, whatever your best play is, throw it in the comments section. You get it right, you make a profit, we'll give you the shout out. You make more profit than everybody else, you're going to be capper of the day. And... You can put together a nice string or hit a couple of big ones or one gigantic one. You could be capper of the week, and that's going to pay you 50 bucks. So um, check it out. Make sure you do that. And if it's uh, the only about the only rule we have, you can play anything you want to, parlays, sides, totals, whatever. Put the price in. All right? That's all I ask. Put the price in. Tell me what it pays. Uh, tell me if the, the individual odds, if you're playing like a four-teamer, uh, tell me what the individual odds are, minus 140, minus 120, et cetera, et cetera. That way, if one of them ties... Uh, or no decision, whatever, we can uh, bump you down and figure out what the next parlay level pays. Okay, um, let's get to it. Let's uh, check out and see what we did yesterday. Guys, it was the shortest cap of all time as we absolutely faded the public money and it paid off for us as the Browns and Steelers played over the total. Now, it wasn't easy, and uh, there were definitely some uh, moments where we thought wasn't going to get home. 0-0 zero, zero after the first quarter was a pretty good one. But you know what? They chunked, they, uh, they uh, 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 kind of clunked, kind of just chunked away at it, and they finally ended up hitting it. So we'll take that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tough day on the premium side. Hit a couple college games, hit a couple pro games, but on the overall, a loser, Mr. Green, Mr. Green Bay bet. That was our best bet. Hey, you want to get my best bets from this national championship game? Good time to do that because I have that available, and we've got a 50% discount today. So. Make sure you check it out when you get check out. Seek to check it out when you do check out. Use the code LP74ST50. That'll get you fifty percent off of my best bet. Normally forty nine ninety nine. We're doing it with that discount code for twenty five bucks. And the cool thing is, it is guaranteed. If you don't win, you don't pay. All right. Uh, you want to get it for longer packages? You can use that fifty percent discount code as well. And we are sponsored by No House Advantage, fantasy sports redefined. You can bet on player over-unders for a chance to win up to 21 times your original bet or play against regular folks like yourself for a chance to win cash prizes. Just go to nohouseadvantage.com or download the No House Advantage app. <clears throat> All right, guys. Here it is. And then there were two. Uh, just like everybody predicted at the beginning of the season, it's the Georgia Bulldogs and the TCU Horned Frogs. Um, my favorite play in this game is a uh, is a player prop, and that's what we're going to get. Uh, if I played player props as premiums, um, this would be a premium for sure. This would be my best bet, okay? But uh, I don't. I don't. We play, you know, just, just we don't play a lot of uh, exotic stuff. Not Not generally... Uh, a fan. People generally aren't fans. So anyway, so just the basic stats right now. First of all, Duggan. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what the bet is. Um, it's Duggan over two hundred and forty and a half yards. That's what it is. Um, it just seems that seems seems low to me. And I, I you know, and here's here's the basics. He uh, uh started thirteen games, two hundred and seventy point one yards per game. Uh, believe it or not, um, Sonny Dykes who. I, I know he's win, winning multiple Coach of the Year awards. Sonny Dykes uh, did not start the season <laughs> with Duggan at quarterback. He actually started Chandler Morris in the first game against Colorado, but uh, he got hurt in the third quarter. Duggan came in late, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. So um, now I know you're going to look at the stats. You're going to say, hey, against Michigan, Duggan only th threw for uh, 225 yards. Well, yeah, they put up what they put up fifty-one points. They got two pick sixes, and they're able to run the ball. They ran the ball for two hundred sixty-three yards on forty-one carries. That's six point four one point. That's six point four one yards per carry. You know who's uh, you know, you know who's not giving up six point four one yards per carry? It's the Georgia Bulldogs, kids. Uh, Ohio State against Georgia uh, in a game they put up a ton of points. Uh, they ran the ball for three point seven yards per carry. Thirty-nine rushes for less than two hundred yards. One ninety-nine. 
So, um, like I said, uh, we talked last week about this uh, Ugga pass rush, how uh, in, against Ohio State, even though they got home four times, uh, the majority of the night, Stroud had a very clean pocket um, and to be able to throw the ball. You let Max Duggan, you give him time, you let him pick you apart, uh, he's going to do it. Him and Quentin Johnston are going to absolutely do it. Um, and last, I think game flow favors this play for a couple of reasons. Number one, either TCU comes out, they're full throttle, they want to jump out early and hit him in the mouth, um, or they fall behind and now they don't have any more options except they have to throw the ball. Um, this dog's uh, defense, by the way, this pass defense, they've had their moments. They can be had, okay? Uh, they gave up 348 to Ohio State. They gave up 502 to LSU. Now, I know LSU was throwing the ball all the time. It had to come back. That's not an impossible scenario in this game either. Um, they've given up more than 250 in four of their last seven. I think this is I think this is a slam dunk, guys. Give me uh, Max Duggan over 240 and a half passing yards against the Bull, Georgia Bulldogs. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, you know how I did. Let's uh, check in and see how y'all did, shall we? <coughs> Damn it. Thanks. I just can't. This last 5% of this stupid cough thing. Uh, oh, before I do, um, uh, as you're aware, we've had a little drama here the last couple days. As you're probably also aware, I hate fucking drama. Uh, this, that's, uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. And then some, I'm not in the internet flame fucking wars or anything. So after a couple of attempts today, we were unable to resolve the problem. So the problem has been removed. Uh, from the arena. Um, sides, I know you can't comment, but I know you can hear me. I'm, I we not, want nothing better than to give you your hundred dollar gift card. Please, if you figure out a way to email me, please email me, email me right to the company. Uh, anyway, what, whatever you have to do, buddy, um, we'd love to take care of it. Give you the hundred bucks. You know what? I enjoyed a lot of your content. I'm a trivia freak, so I enjoyed it. Probably weren't a lot of people, but I enjoyed the hell of it. Sorry things ended up the way they are, but that's how it is, and it's over. All right, so here we go, kids. Uh, yesterday's action, Thomas Bow, 1-0 plus 100. He had the over in the Cleveland-Pittsburgh game, tailed yours truly. Uh, Patrick Gildia goes 1-0 plus 100, had the Vikes minus 7. R. Rivera, 9-1-1, had a uh, three-teamer all on the money line, Minnesota, Cincy, and Buffalo. It paid even money, so he's plus 100. Zewa Carter taking them Steelers uh, minus two and a half at plus 100. Uh, but your capper of the day, it is Brandon Zerfus, everybody. Uh, he knows Indiana basketball. Let me tell you, if he if he posts picks that involving Indiana basketball, you probably ought to tail him. That's what I'm telling to you. He said today, Indiana, he liked him in the beginning. They haven't been playing good ball lately. Thought Northwestern would win it outright plus 230. That's exactly what they did. So uh, he, he goes 1-0 plus 230. Taking Northwestern straight up. Hey, Brandon Zerfus, congratulations, my friend, because you are the capper of the day. By the way, um, I can't express how much uh, all of your good thoughts and uh, just basically having my back. Uh, it, it, it just it always astounds me when, for all intents and purposes, you know, strangers that strangers that aren't strangers, you know the deal. But anyway. The uh, affection and everything that we you guys have for me and for each other, it's it's just it's really cool and I really appreciate it. And <laughs> yeah, I just I, I didn't even mean to get you guys like involved or anything, but it just became such a deal that you know we had to deal with it. So anyway, hey, uh, here's let's find out who won Capper of the Week, shall we? Hmm, who could it be? <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, well, guys, in a surprising turn of... Oh, shall I build this suspense? Okay. Um, in third place for Capper of the Week, it's the Time Traveler at plus 1053. <coughs> in second place, it's Betstradamus, everybody. Congratulations, plus 1468. And your winner, your Capper of the Week... You know what I was going to fuck with? I was going to say somebody else, but I'm not. Hey, it's Darwin Tanko, everybody. Darwin, uh, 
50, 54 5 You know, I think Darwin had five losing days this week, <laughs> but the two that he didn't were very good. Hey, Darwin, congratulations, buddy. You're capper of the week. You were the initial $50 winner. Now, oh, shit, I didn't even think about this part. So if you would be so kind to send me an email. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, send me an email, scott at winnersandwiners.com. I will, I will, I will, I will get your gift card right out to you as soon as you send me that email and then give me your information on where I can send it. Okay. Hey, we've had a lot of fun. You guys take care. <clears throat> Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a great Monday. Enjoy the game. All right. Let's uh, hope it's a good game and hope the, uh, whatever side you're on, I hope it ends up hitting. All right. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow doing our thing, searching those picks, find out if we can hit that one right in the head. It lets us all head back to the window. You guys, take care. We'll see you then.